WXII 12 News at 5 starts right now. Right now at 5, it's finally here. Traffic is flowing on the final section of the Greensboro Urban Loop. City and state leaders held a ribbon cutting ceremony to mark the occasion not long ago. WXI 12's Maria DeBone was there and joins us live on this chilly Monday right now. Maria, you already drove this yourself, did you not? Yeah, that's right, Kenny. We did. We drove the new section of the loop from Yanceyville Street to Highway 29, and it took us less than three minutes, so not too bad there. And as you can see, there are some drivers already taking advantage of this new urban loop. This is absolutely wonderful. This has been 56 years in the making. The planning for the entire project began in 1969 and construction began in 1999. Ever since I moved here, this was one of the first projects I had heard about. So it's wonderful to see it come to fruition and it's really going to change the way we travel around Guilford County. And now the 49 mile loop on Interstate 840 is complete, making it easier to get from one side of Greensboro to the other. But it also connects us to other cities in our state and as as well to Virginia. So it's so important to us in terms of being a connector. City and state leaders say it also will attract new businesses to the triad, thus bringing new jobs and new residents. Big asset. People like to be near uh, highways. We're going to be bringing in new industry. A lot of other people, uh, businesses are going to be wanting to locate on this uh, on this highway, this section, and it's going to be a, a way to be able to get people in and out faster. And city leaders are now encouraging the public to get out there and to try the urban loop for themselves to get used to it. Kenny. Maria, before we let you go, everyone's saying drivers try it, use it, use it, use it. What's the speed limit along this new section? Well, along the new section, Kenny, it is 65 miles per hour, and that's the same speed limit for the entirety of the loop.